This is not the history of Brazil. Hey, I'm Kareem, and we're gonna ride the unicorn and take a tour of the stuff I drew when I took AP art last year. Quick info, this is a class where you get this big idea in your head and you make 15 things about it and send five of it to the Acorn Company. They call it a sustained investigation, but it's just like a portfolio, so don't worry about it. I got a khamsa on this exam, that means five, which kind of makes me like a scholar, but I'm not a reliable source. So yalla habibi, buckle your seatbelt, grab some goldfish, and let's check out the gallery. Yeah, okay, cool. So my investigation was about curiosity, specifically curious thoughts on stuff I've seen in my life. Before I took this class, I was pretty boring. I only did black and white drawing. Pretty depressing like my junior year, but it was cool. The color is cooler. So I had this intellectual philosophy for this portfolio to, you know, go colorful and try clunky materials because curiosity. Okay, number one, I call it shimmer and shine, not trademarked. I use Prismacolor. This was my first time using colored pencils ever. I started with great fascination of the universe because, you know, I like space. I downloaded a lot of apps on my iPad. I watched a lot of star size comparison videos and I played a lot of Mario Galaxy. So perfect combination. So basically there's the observer looking into the stars. You see galaxies and nebulas and stuff. There's like magnifying glasses showing how insignificant, you know, the earth is. And it's going from like small to big, like in a logarithmic progression. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'd give it an 8.1 out of 10. It was a pretty good start, like the mines. All right, number two. This one was about physics, kinetic energy with Tame Impala. I went full dally on this one. Yeah, I think this one was all right. I was picturing something cooler in my head when I was doing this one, but it's supposed to be weird and throwing concepts all over the place. And my fascination of it being everywhere, like bro, it's in my room kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little bit of that surrealism. I'll give it a seven. But I was thinking something with this one. I looked back into it and had this great meta idea of making it more obvious, like I'm questioning the art or something and show that curiosity. Ruin it. That's right. I started scribbling all over that canvas. <laughs> I ran it over with tape, subdividing it in eight different directions. <laughs> Smear glue all over that sandy dust plane, take some paper, tear the paper, smell the paper, put sprinkles on it, and boom. Masterpiece. Four out of ten. Okay, number four. This one I did in two days, like end of winter break, so I really had to just get this done fast. So I opened Photoshop, took some pictures, photoshopped it, and traced- Uh, what did I say? And you got it. The thing I did here is make the thing more complicated as you look left. It's kind of like nature, where things start from smaller things like atoms, molecules, cells, etc. And showed that with the drawing process. I call it existing. And you got a telescope for that representation. I kind of like it. Six. Number five. Now, I don't really know what this is. This is like the Minecraft painting, but HD. It was supposed to show some nostalgia and wonder since views like this make me think interestingly. I use gouache paint. It's like acrylic, but like flat. It was like an introspection to childhood, probably. First shot at painting. Not bad, but could be better. Okay, this one is called Infinite Bone Man. This is where it gets spicy. You take the black and white and you put color in it. Beautiful result. She's lovely. This piece illustrates the endlessness of my ideas that come to my head. Not super accurate. Where the brain is more important than the person. The skeleton's drawn too, and me doing that with this. Yeah, you get it. The ideas are supposed to be really colorful. You gotta seal the deal. It gets more complicated than this, but I did make a cool endless hallway of rainbow vomit paintings to give the idea of infinity. 9 out of 10. Number 7. I like this one. This was part of the portfolio where I go back to the black and white, my comfort zone. I call it society or some crap. I might or might not be serious with these names. This one was talking about my thoughts of the past and the future. Look left and right. I'm not on Twitter. Age, that stuff. Basically going from monkey to cyberpunky. It mainly displayed my curiosity on the development of society because history is weird and why Use some of that charcoal, blending stumps, and some gel pens. This is one of the good ones. All right, let's take a quick break. Number eight, this is basically me zoning out. I kind of wanted to explore that in a piece. There's a transition for the thought, two different styles in one piece, with the inquiry like, why do we daydream? And why is not paying attention the most existential feeling in the world? Gouache painting skills got better, I see that. It's me escaping from the world and go fantastic fantasy. How to train your dragon with Sonic, you know, because it's cool. I'm not sure what this world is supposed to be, but it's colorful, so it looks good. 9.5. All right, number nine, I don't even know what this one is. It's just a spiral staircase. Number 10, this one's called berserk 9 billion personal experience this one is like a first person point of view solar eclipse in the sky it was based on when the moon and the sun did something together and made that in 2017 and i saw it so great idea i drew japan even though i've never been to japan it didn't even happen in japan but i'm holding some eclipse glasses while looking in a sense of awe i also like the moon a lot like it's a floating rock in the sky and i cannot ignore that oh crispy, shoot crispy the science, the science guy lighting the place up i went back to the colored pencils and charcoal because i love charcoal this was another personal experience 
experience, specifically a flame test lab I did in my chemistry class, where you take a metal wire, dip it into some ions, and set it on fire, and it changes color like you're a wizard. This was a legendary lab experiment for me. It was so good it earned a spot in the portfolio. 2 out of 10. Alright, number 12. I call this one humansuck.com. I was totally out of ideas before doing this one, but my art teacher had put these mannequins on the table in this specific position. And ladies and gentlemen, that light bulb flickered again. Shout out to my art teacher. She's awesome. As you can see, there are no human beings in this picture. They're very overrated. Mannequins are very different. Shut up. This is supposed to depict social ignorance because trust me, there is a lot of that in the world. It's scary. I just wonder, why? Why do we do this? Number 13. Okay, this one was probably my favorite and my hippie homie's favorite too. Prisma colors spanned all over the space-time continuum. I did a lot of experimenting throughout this investigation, but abstract art was probably the biggest one around the end. If you couldn't already tell, this one's about music. I like music, it's good. Especially learning the piano, because you feel like you control everything. I also put the synesthesia aspect into it by making music into color. But I also included these hidden details I think were so significant that I cropped the artwork and made number 14 these two images, an ear and an eye, to show observation and bewilderment and eccentricity and curiosity. Epic. Number 15, this is the grand finale, the final frontier. I kept with the abstract mindset and made this one a collage. If you don't know what that is, it's when you take a ton of magazines that use a lot of 60s and 70s National Geographic magazines and just cut random things and just put them in your artwork. It's like plagiarism, but it's not because it's art and recycling. I used a lot of resources to represent the crazy, super weird thoughts in the head. Maybe my head. The diversity is extreme. You got Abraham Lincoln. And voila, just write two paragraphs about it, submit it, and lads, you're done. I think this class was pretty good. I learned how to draw in seven dimensions, go through the multiverse, and unlock the cheat codes in real life with this class. I recommend it. If you have good ideas, please have good ideas. Dude, drop oh. Alright, we're out of here. We're multiplying. Dude,